What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys is some patch notes. This is a huge patch. This is a 1.2 patch. This is the patch that comes out November 19th, the Tuesday after you guys are seeing this video. It is the Yin patch. And we're going to get just get into it. There's a bunch of big stuff in here. I have a little bit more info than you guys have, so I will do my best to clarify anything. Uh, of course, if you guys have uh, questions, leave them in the comments. I will respond. I will let you guys, I will fill you in as much as I can. I don't know everything. But I have a little bit more knowledge than you guys have. So first things first, Yin, the new hero. This is a Paragon hero. Uh, she's like a jungler ADC hybrid. Will she be able to play the carry role in this game? I'm not certain. Uh, I, I don't think she'll be super good at it. I bet you could, but I think she'll be uh, like mostly jungle, probably a little bit of off lane. Uh, first things first, as we get through this, this stat usually doesn't matter. She has extended auto range. Uh, most melee autos are like between 275 and 325 units. They have slightly different ranges, uh, but Yin is 550. Characters like Fang Mao Zeris have a slightly extended. They're at 350, I believe. So Yin, a little bit further melee auto. Uh, her passive is basically when you auto attack people, you get more attack speed. It's, it's, just, it's just stacking attack speed. Uh, she does have 85% power scaling, which is pretty good. That's like tank levels of auto attack scaling. That's like Fang Mao levels of auto attack scaling. Uh, most carries are 75 or 80%. So 85, it's pretty good. Uh, her Q, this is her primary ability. This is Lash Kick. So she throws out her whip. This is, I believe she had this in Paragon. Uh, she throws out her whip. If it hits something, she like vaults to it. It's like a vault kick. She jumps to it, kicks them does damage, and then she kind of does a little flippy off of them. Um, this is the way that this works, is when you hit someone with this, it roots them if you hit an enemy with it. And then you can directionally input forward, back, left, right. And when you jump to them and hit them, you'll, you'll do your flip in that direction. So if you hold left, you'll flip to the left, and they'll get pushed to the right. If you hold forward, you'll flip forward, they'll get pushed backwards. Uh, it's kind of a neat little ability. It does hit terrain as well. So you can hit the, hit walls with this and stuff and pull yourself to walls. Useful little little piece of, uh, you know, mobility. Her secondary, her E. Uh, the passive on this is that every third consecutive basic attack will deal maximum health damage to the target. And it heals Yin. So there's that. And then the active is just that she extends her whip to almost auto range. This is not quite full auto attack range. It's just short of it. Uh, but it does gain 100% cleave. So this is her main jungle clearing tool. This would be her main wave clear tool. And yeah. And then backlash or alternate. She clicks this button and it does damage in front of her. But it also will reflect projectiles. So this is her reflect. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly how this ability works. I don't know if it's targeted, if the projectile reflects to where you're looking or to where it came from. I'm not sure, but this does reflect all the projectiles, which is pretty cool. And then her ultimate, she summons a little sphere of wind around her, and it gives her move speed. It slows enemies within it, and then projectiles that hit the little sphere, uh, they stop, which is pretty neat. If you walk into them, side note: if you walk into the projectiles while they're stopped. You hit the projectile, uh, it does hit you. So don't walk into them, okay? They, they still have hitboxes, so be careful. Uh, there's some new skins. There's a new, like, uh, skin line, I guess, is what you'd call this. The Wastelanders skin line. Chimera gets one. Grim Grit gets one. Kalari. This Kalari one looks sick, by the way. At least in this art, right? I'll have to see it in-game, but this looks sick. Then TB gets one. This one also looks good. A uh, couple of bundles with the new stuff in it. Very cool. Uh, new store stuff. So what we're getting in this patch is uh, overhead emotes. If you guys are League of Legends players, you're probably familiar with this. Uh, you click a button, a little thing pops up above your head. The enemies can see it. Uh, you can use it to BM. You can use it to say hi to your teammates. You can use it to wave to the enemies. Stuff like that um, is all in this. And then there's a calm wheel. You can, you can have multiple sprays equipped now which is really nice, actually. I've always wanted multiple sprays because there are times where my opponent has a spray that I would have like a good counter spray to, but I don't have it equipped, right? So now you have a, now you have a spray wheel. Uh, communication wheel improvements. They, they're they a little vague here. I don't know all of this. So they added some new pings. Never surrender, stand and fight, and out of mana are new pings. 
the first two, who cares? Out of mana, really good ping to have in the video game. They re-recorded some voice lines. I'm guessing these are voice lines like thanks or sorry that were really sarcastic. I really liked them, but I know some people, they were, it rubbed them the wrong way. And then uh, they said that they took out some pings, which I wonder what these are. Uh, if they took out good job, I'm going to be really mad. That I, I, like, I know it's used to BM, but come on, you know, like, I, you can't take that out. Uh, ranked mode, in, mode improvements, you no longer have to do a rank up game, a whatever it's called, a, a promotion game when you hit 100 VP in, within a rank. So it's from silver three to silver two. When you hit over 100 VP, you just go to silver two, no more promo game. But in between division or in between ranks, if you're silver one and you hit 100 VP, you'll still have to do a promotion game to get into gold three. So no more in promo games within a rank, but promo games between ranks. And then it says stuff like uh, adjusted VP updates in Paragon. I, I dude, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. The rank system is not awesome at the moment. Like it's super easy to hit Paragon. There's people in Paragon with negative win rates, right? Like I don't know exactly what this is supposed to supposed to do. Anyway, uh, arc, arc shot gateways. This is what they're calling the teleporters on the map. Um, this is basically, you can see it in this screenshot. This is like cyan buff right here. And then this is a little teleporter pad. And you stand on the teleporter pad for a couple of seconds and it will launch you across the map to gold buff. And if you do it at gold buff, it'll launch you across the map to green buff. And there you are. Uh, it has, it starts at 10 minutes is when they become active. I believe it's a three minute cooldown per person. Yeah, three minutes per hero uh on the cooldown on the on the little arc shot what arc shot gateway uh three minute cooldown per hero uh gateway travel time is four seconds takes two and a half seconds when you're standing on it so six and a half seconds to get from lane to lane pretty good you do there's a sound effect when they fly and there you can see them visually so you should not be surprised by them using it you know that it's coming but it is a fast way to travel across the map you can go you know if you win a fight at fangtooth you can teleport and maybe get to prime a little bit faster, stuff like that, right? Uh, it, it'll add a lot to the game, but I will say it will take time for people to figure out exactly how and when and why to use them. It will be a skill cap. Uh, there will be skill involved. Uh, pit changes. These are really good, actually. I, I'm, the pits, this is a band-aid fix. I think the pits are not designed well, but, uh, period. But the only way to fix it would be to rework the entire map, obviously. Not something we're getting right now. So this is a good Band-Aid fix for the moment, in my opinion. Uh, the pits are level now. So there's no more, more of that tiny little ledge going around the outside. They're a level. So you can't, you can't like randomly not hit people with autos. Like some characters that have short melee auto ranges just couldn't hit characters on the edge of pits, which is super annoying. So that'll be gone. They also lowered this wall on the outside to just open this up a little bit. You can throw abilities over this now, stuff like that, right? This will be really nice. Uh, should make pit fights just feel better. Should make it feel better. Uh, toxicity improvements. You will get a a little notification. This notification when you report someone and they get action taken against them, which is really nice. Just a solid quality of life. Uh, if someone's AFK in your match before five minutes, then the match will cancel. This is not like an early surrender vote. This is just a remake of the lobby. The the lobby will end there will be no rank adjustments you'll just go back to the main menu uh player report feedback yeah again this is what i was just talking about menu improvements uh they've just kind of been working on the ui there's some new stuff in here as well um you can look at your recent match history so you can see your builds your win losses all that kind of stuff kdas um there's new tutorials within the game which is really nice i know a lot of people have been asking for this kind of stuff so now we have it ranked leaderboard in the game also very nice the top uh what does it what is it top 500 players will be shown in game so right now the top 500 players i believe this goes down to diamond two at the moment to hit top 500 so if you guys are grinding you can get your name on the leaderboard in game i believe i'm about number 45 right now so i'll be in here you guys can you guys can peek for my name uh draft purchasing you can pick you can buy skins and draft now uh there's a new audio for the match being found i can i'll play this one for you
Uh, it's a little spooky. It's a little jump scary, but the other one is a little uh, quiet, so I don't, I don't mind. Uh, projectile changes. So all basic attacks are pretty much going to be hit scan now. They're, the projectile speeds are being increased by about three times. They are still projectiles. They are not technically hit scan, but they're, from what I've heard, they are pretty much hit scan at this point. Like they're very, very fast. You aim at people, you click on them, you hit them kind of how it works now so uh yeah it's, it's this should be a good change especially if you play on ping uh this will help out a decent amount buff transfers this one i'm skeptical about uh i'm not 100 percent on this one i'll have to play with this to figure it out basically if you kill an enemy player that has red or blue buff you will steal it from them for 45 seconds that's i mean it's kind of neat i think it does add something to the game uh, I'm worried that it'll make the game more defensive where you don't want to give up your buffs. Like you don't want to fight too hard with red and blue buff because you don't want to give it away. But at the end of the day, maybe it makes it more aggressive because you're trying to steal from the enemy team. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm skeptical, but I will withhold, you know, uh, judgment until I get to play with it. Enhanced recall. You get a, a half duration recall after killing mini prime and big prime. This is, again, you get this in League of Legends. This is a, like a popular thing. It's nice. It is very nice to be able to get that fast back off when you do get the big objective. It allows you to base, spend your gold, get back on the map a little faster. Pretty nice. Uh, river bugs also are getting enhanced. So at 21 minutes, river bugs become enhanced. They have a lot of health. They have like 1500 HP or something like that. They give wildly increased buffs. So like pink buff gives ability haste also. Green buff basically becomes a uh, paragon green buff where when it expires or it gets broken, it explodes and does damage and slows. Uh, what are the other ones? Gray buff gives you additional out of combat movement speed. So you can go really fast with gray buff. And then orange buff gives you lifesteal or omnivamp. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but it gives you like 10% lifesteal for orange buff. So they all get enhanced. They're bigger buffs. Uh, they're harder to kill. You can actually fight over them. Pretty nice. Uh, other improvements. Uh, we've updated all heroes with a range of new voice lines. We'll see exactly what this means. I I, I don't know what this one is yet. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I have not heard this one. Uh, tower danger effects. I'll play this one for you. Uh, you can see here, right? Like there's just a little aura when, when you're in tower line. You can see the, the actual tower line. Uh, brawl mode this is one of the best changes possibly ever made to predecessor you can now pick multiples of heroes in brawl so you can have five iggies on a team you could have five richters you can have five narbashes right this is going to make brawl actually a really fun game mode so i'm pretty excited for this actually uh, let's see. Other news. Winterfest coming December 3rd. So Winterfest won't be available with this update. It'll start in December. But Winterfest is coming. There's a little battle pass coming. They talked about it on their uh, little dev stream. They did the dev stream last week. They talked about it there. There will be like a little small like 30. I think they said 30 tier battle pass uh, that has a free section, a paid section, normal battle pass stuff, has skins in it, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. Uh, there will be map changes, stuff like that. I'm assuming we'll get the Christmas skins like Revenant, Richter back, right? Uh, we'll see exactly what this entails once we get there. Uh, Twitch drops. Obviously, you guys can get Twitch drops at twitch.tv slash pinzo. I stream at least all weekdays at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I've been trying to stream Saturdays, but uh, schedule is a little bit funky at the moment. So sorry about that. Uh, but the Countess skins are coming back. Balance changes. So uh, basic attacks are faster gateways the the arc shot gateways uh changes to the pits river bugs get evolved all this is kind of stuff we went over um enhanced river bugs again so this is this is what they are right uh let's see secondary buff types okay orange buff gives five percent omnivamp not 10 my bad and then pink buff 20 ability haste gray buff out of combat move speed and then green buff uh it explodes on depletion dealing damage based on your max health which is really good uh and slows them so that's pretty good uh they are 1500 hp they'd give increased gold all that kind of stuff as you'd expect uh these are all just kind of small stat changes to buffs they're a little bit less tanky for red and blue there you go uh fangtooth and mini orb and orb give less global rewards for your team not not, not by much 20 gold 50 gold it is what it is uh it's not crazy 
moving into balance changes. There's I, I have looked through this. I will say that. So I, I know it's coming. Uh, Decker, some, some slight shifts. I don't really know. Like this character is super OP. Uh, it doesn't say anything in here about her uh, ball disappearing. Everyone, everyone who's played Decker in the last month knows that when you throw out your stun, sometimes it hits someone and it just disappears and doesn't do anything. Doesn't say anything about that. Hopefully that's fixed. Uh, but they nerf her Q base damage, increase the scaling. Uh, this is just to stop you from, if you Q max, your wave clear is really good, your poke's really good, to tune that down a little bit. Bang Mao gets some uh, buffs, actually. They buff the cooldown on his E. This is because they're nerfing some of his items, so they're just trying to keep him relevant. Gideon gets some actually pretty nice ner uh, buffs here. Uh, his The cooldown or the mana cost on his Q goes way down and the scaling goes up, so more damage is always good. Mana cost on his portal goes down as well. And then his ult gets a bug fix here. These are not increased numbers. This is what it's supposed to be. Currently, Gideon ult only does 9 instances of damage. It's supposed to do 10. So it's only doing 90% of the damage that it's supposed to do. So they're increasing this to make it what it's supposed to be. A small buff to Howie. Right click and ultimate get like 25 base damage. Not bad. Uh, Kira projectile speed on her right click. This is an auto attack like projectile. It's increased a bit. Uh, Bellica gets some. Bellica gets some wild buffs here. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I was really surprised to see them buff Bellica this much. Uh, the cooldown on her Q scales better now. It's 11 seconds max rank instead of 12. And then her bomb gets five base damage, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you double bomb wave one, I believe this will let you kill ranged minions one auto attack faster is really nice for level one specifically like really small interaction but lets you clear the wave a lot faster but it also gets five percent scaling on both of these so 80 percent scaling ability when you get this maxed out and it's a five and a half second cooldown which the like the this all of these changes combined are this is a huge buff to bellica so be 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 scared of bellica next patch that's all i'm saying we'll get into item changes too item changes are going to help this character a lot uh, Narbash nerfed to his heal, very cool. Richter nerfed to his passive. This is to make him less OP in the offlane primarily. Uh, eight second cooldown on this makes it really easy to step back and you don't even have to miss a minion to refresh your shield. Makes it a little annoying to play against. Uh, Sparrow, her piercing shot gets sped up like, uh, like the auto attacks do. Steel gets some base stat nerfs, uh, less health, and then they changed his shield to... This is technically a nerf to the shield, technically a nerf. It has a four second lifespan and they're reducing the, the cooldown by three seconds, but the cooldown starts at the end. So this is technically a one second longer cooldown now, but it, it's very small change to steel wall. Uh, TB gets some changes. The damage on his Q goes down quite a bit and then the damage on his ult goes down a bit. Uh, keep in mind, this hits like 45 times, so like 45 damage taken off, not a lot, but 20 damage off of his Qs at max rank is quite a bit. Wraith gets some nerfs here. Uh, they increase the vision radius on his wards. His wards have a little bit farther range now, but they reduce his damage. Zinx gets some changes as well. Uh, slower auto attacks, and then her infuse, her uh, heal does less damage and less scaling little less oppressive and then her ultimate gets a cooldown increase this is a good change i think you could leave her damage the same if you're going to nerf her ult but i also think this character is super duper annoying to play against so i do not mind seeing her get nerfed <laughs> all right moving into items rests uh razorback reflect damage decreased this crest is op we all know this uh, time flex band it re it refunds missing mana when you when you uh time flex band you place down your little uh where you're standing you move around for four seconds you teleport back you get all your cooldowns back now when you teleport back uh you get 15 percent of your missing mana back which is nice uh if this I, I think this should probably be max mana to be completely honest with you don't think it super matters but it's a small quality of life to make you not run completely out of mana for using your kit twice ashbringer small buff no one no one cares this item still stinks uh, Quiver just gets its uh, side projectiles sped up. Solaris, uh, this is actually a pretty good buff to Solaris. 20 haste now, and it costs less. You might be able to get away with this now for a second item. I still don't think this item is very good. Spectra gets a nerf. Uh, increased cost, less haste, less slow on the uh, proc. Good changes. Is this going to completely kill the item? Probably not. Still does true damage. Still really easy to run people down when you get this, even on 40% slow. Pretty good item still.
uh nightfall gets its omnivamp increased they really want like nightfall to be a viable item and it, it's it, i don't know man it's just not a good item uh maybe maybe with a little more lifesteal you could go this first second on like fang mao off lane uh maybe yin uses this item or something like that because she has you know the she she can life steal off the whole wave with her e May, maybe you could use it on her but i think you would just build mutilator at that point right like i don't i just don't know why you would ever buy nightfall instead of mutilator mostly uh pain weaver this is a big change to pain weaver three percent base move speed they've nerfed the amount of move speed that pain weaver gets you drastically uh, Pain Weaver, whenever you use an ability, you get increased physical penetration and uh, movement speed for a couple seconds, and th that stacks up to four times. Initially, Pain Weaver was like 2% move speed per stack. I believe it's down to 1.5% now. So putting base move speed on this is really good. Uh, Perforator gets its uh, base pen, its, its flat pen reduced, but goes back up to 30% pen. This is a pretty, uh, uh, I mean, this is a buff in my opinion. It's it's one of those where it's like, yeah, one pen, but 2%, like most of the time, you're still going to get half of a pen, right, off of 2% more pen, even against squishies, whatever, it's pretty nothing, better against tanks, about the same against squishies, uh, Berserker's Axe gets more move speed, very cool, Bonesaw, Power Nerf, this item has seen a resurgence recently on characters like Greystone, Serith, uh, Grux, right, you're, you're seeing people build this item more, so a nerf is probably warranted, uh, mutilator gets a cost decrease i think this item is still really good i think you see this bot a little bit less right now because people are going more of these bone saw builds but it's better against tanks uh and if you're playing a character like crunch or even graystone against tanks mutilator is still pretty good salvation loses 50 hp very cool noxia gains five power i dude this here's the issue with man noxia only one passive I, I think technically it has two passives, but it only has one passive. Uh, it, it's just that when you hit someone with two abilities, you deal max health damage. That's cool. It's a two stat item with one passive. It's really hard for a two stat item with one passive to compete with a lot of the other really good mage items in the game. That is truly the issue. Um, I, I don't think bumping this up to 85 is going to change a whole lot maybe it's better than i think it is i i'm very skeptical oath keeper really small small buff to oath keeper uh oh crown gets 100 gold taken off of it quality of life i mean that that's nice overseer gets a change though overseer gets its uh cost increased and its lifesteal decreased this item is really good uh it's very good on howitzer obviously really really good on countess i think it's even pretty good on gadget uh, but on those characters, it'll take a little bit longer to get it. It's a, probably a warranted nerf. Uh, this one is a is a mis mistype on the patch notes. It's not Soul Bearer. This is Soul Binder, the book, the uh, dodgeball item. It's the dodgeball item. Uh, base power goes to eighty. I already think this item's pretty good. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I think this item on a couple of characters is quite good. A twenty haste item that you can buy first that gives other bonus effects is nice it's it's nice and now being an 80 it's 80 power it's 20 haste it's 400 mana probably a decent first item now like you might even just build this on non alcrod builds i think a lot of the time it's better to go alcrod into soulbinder but you might just get away with this on non soulbinder builds now because it has 80 base power uh might just be good i've been going the a build that i've been going on like howie recently is soulbinder first item into triple pen you can go Soulbinder, Combustion, Wraith Leggings, and Overseer. And on some of those builds, I'm even ditching Combustion. I'm just going Soulbinder, Wraith Leggings, Overseer, Tainted Scepter uh, to get all the extra bonus damage that I can. And it's I, that build kind of cooks. This is a 20 haste item to start off. It has mana on it. I, mages are getting big buffs in this patch. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Spirit of Amir gets a stat shift, loses some power and pen, but it does gain some HP. So this will be a little bit better for people in the jungle. Even Countess, Quang, Aurora in the jungle might build this item a little more. As of now, it's pretty much just overshadowed by Magnify. So you might see this built a little more now. Uh, time Warp, Gold Decrease, items still not super awesome. I do think there are some builds that you can get away with Time Warp in. But I will say right now, pretty much any time where I would say, yeah, I'm going to build Time Warp here, I'm building Soulbinder. Uh, it's, it's just, it's kind of the same thing, but better. I would almost rather, I would almost always rather have Soulbinder.
Uh, Wraith Leggings. Dude, this is, this is probably the weirdest change of the patch to me. Wraith Leggings gets a 5 power increase? Like, this item is nuts. It is crazy. Um, it, they say that it's for Wraith Leggings to have room for additional efficacy to better differentiate for burst compared to multiple rotations with haste itemization. I don't think on most mid mages, I don't think that it's super worth it to go like a full haste build. You could go, I mean, you can go like a soul binder, uh, time warp build if you're going like maybe with Alcrod, something like that, that gives you, you'll end the game with like 58, 65 haste, something like that. Uh, but I like the difference between 55 haste and 35 haste is not that much. It's like, uh, what, what is it? 50 haste is 33% CDR and 35 haste is 27% CDR or something like that. Right. So it's like, you're, I mean, you're losing less than a second on your basic cooldowns. I, I, I don't know, man. It, I don't think it's super worth it to build full haste. I, I think it's just like, like pen builds. I think you're going to see be really common, especially with some tank nerfs. I think you'll see pen builds come back in a big way. Ella Frost, uh, damage reduction, Flux Matrix, less health, more armor, very cool, Frost Guard, more magic armor, uh, Raiment of Renewal, this item's not even very good, but it's super annoying to play against when supports build this first item. <laughs> I, I don't think the item's super good, but when it, yeah, when you build this first on support, it's so annoying to play against, man. Like, the, like, you see a steel support with Raiment, and they don't do anything. They, they're just standing there, but you can't kill them. It's super annoying. Uh, Stonewall, less HP, more defense. Tainted Bastion, less HP, more regen. 5% regen. Dude, this is such a weird stat. Why does this, why does this one item have 80% regen on it, huh? Riddle, like, come on. What is this? Anyway, uh, Unbroken Will. Costs less, way less health. Losing 175 HP is a lot. Uh, but it does gain 10 armor, so that's cool. Uh, this item's still gonna be good, by the way. Still a good item. Increases your armor when you get hard CC'd. It doesn't heal you anymore. Excuse me, I got the hiccups, bro. Uh, it does it? Re it increases your armor. So giving this more armor. Keep in mind, every time you get CC'd, you're getting like a thirty percent armor bonus. That's an extra three armor off of the ten armor on this item alone, right? So it's a it's it's a little bit of a shift more than a nerf, but it is still a nerf. Uh, brawl changes. Brawl has buff transfer now. Bug fixes, there's some stuff about invisible walls in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys see something in here. I looked through these, but none of them looked super important. Uh, so let me know if there's a bug fix in here that matters a lot. Otherwise, let me know if you guys have questions. That's the whole patch. Uh, it looks, I honestly, I'm pretty excited. We've been on the same patch for like the last five weeks. So it's, the game has felt a little bit stale, but... With a lot of changes and a new hero coming, and it's not even just balance changes, right? I mean, there's changes to the map. The game will actually change now. I'm pretty excited to see uh, what happens on this patch. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have questions, let me know. This patch comes out November 19th, you guys. Of course, I will be live on Twitch when the patch goes out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Pinza. You guys can go watch me do it live. Otherwise, you guys will see it on YouTube. So, uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. But, as always, I've been Pinzo. This video's done -zo. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.